Well, we praise God for the Holy Ghost. For Jesus has said, when he is come, he will lead us and guide us into all truth. The Holy Ghost is the revealer of the will of God. And the will of God is according to his word. And the word is God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory even as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And so is it with the Word of God, full of grace and truth. Today is a reminder. Tuesdays, we usually deal with euthanasia. Euthanasia, one of Lucifer's thieves, one of Lucifer's tactics. In his pride, he boasted, I will ascend above the stars of God, and I will be like the Most High. God returned an answer. You will not get out. Lucifer forgot that he was not in his own domain. When he spoke, he was in the presence of God and he was dismissed from the presence of God. Jesus said, I beheld Lucifer falling as lightning. He said, I beheld Satan falling as lightning, which is a warning. We can climb, but it doesn't take long to be a loser. We can lose in a moment. So therefore, this is a reminder. There will be words. There will be promotions. There will be incentives for people to vote and to stand with euthanasia. But God, through the Spirit of God, would warn us, don't vote yes for euthanasia. Euthanasia is a thief. So therefore, we do not stand with a thief. When there was a man whom God raised up by the name of Elijah, Elijah stood against the thief. Baal is the name of the God that is associated with death. Baal is a god that requires child sacrifice. Babies were put to death during Elijah's time and there before and thereafter still. The Ark of Baal was erected in New York, one of the entrance points of the United States. The Ark of Baal was taken from there to Washington, D.C., the government capital of this United States. What is being said? Only those who are not wise, and people that are not wise are called many times fools. Only a fool will side with Baal who is a loser. So therefore, Lucifer intends to use death as his way of enlarging his space. Well, the Bible said, hell hath enlarged itself. So yes, Lucifer's space will be and is enlarged. 
his space is hell. Hell hath enlarged itself. You know why? More people. Broad is the way that leadeth to death, and many there be that go in there at. God ordered the voice. He said, warn them from me. This is a warning. Jesus also said, watch and pray. For there will be a time that will fulfill the words. The judgment was set. The books were open. Everything that people do is accounted and there is surveillance. Mm -hmm. The Chinese are late. God has had surveillance ever since he has been God. For even himself, he is a watcher. God watches people. He watches his people. He, and he definitely watches his enemy. God ordered us. He said, watch and pray. But the evil surveillance, because Satan watches us also. Yes, he does. He watches us how that he can steal from us. The thief cometh but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But remember, we have a champion. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Jesus is our champion, who spoiled principalities and powers, and he made a show of them openly, and he triumphed, triumphed over every one of them in it. Jesus used three words to conclude his victory. He said, it is finished. So therefore, we have no need, amen, to be alarmed at the uprising, for there will be a downplay. And Satan and all of those that walk with him will be casted in the lake of fire. There is an answer, though. Jesus is that answer. Let me encourage you today, don't be a follower of death. Don't be a follower of Lucifer. Amen. But Jesus said, walk in the light as he is in the light. Amen. Ah, thank God. So therefore, amen, we admonish you, repent and believe the gospel, the good news that Jesus, amen, is the victor. Lucifer has lost. There will be no more kingdom of Lucifer, kingdom of Satan. There will be no more kingdom of darkness. Eventually, it will be all over, and the light of the world will engulf the earth. Yes, it will. We're going to be on that side. Don't vote for euthanasia. Amen. Stand with life. If you have not yet decided to walk in the light, let me encourage you to do that. Hallelujah. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. The good news that there is a way that seemeth right, but the gift there, the, the, amen, the gift there are the ways of death. But Jesus is the light and the life that will take you into eternal life. Amen. Now let's pray. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today for the word of God. These that have been and are under the sound of my voice, I lose your power here to bring under conviction in the name of Jesus, Lord, and may those that will meet us in the air and we'll give you the glory and we will say that you have done it. Amen. Well, beloved, I'm asking you to give. This particular podcast will be launched globally. It will stay globally 
that ears around the world can hear the truth. I'm encouraging you to send to our Cash App location, Cash App. Dollar sign, Apostle G. Morris, men, M-I-N, and to Zell, Z-E-L-L-E, A-P-O-S-T-L-E-J-M at gmail.com. That is Cash App, dollar sign, Apostle G. Morris, men, and Zell, A-P-O-S-T-L-E-J-M at gmail.com. Your donation will help us to continue And we will, in Jesus' name, use your donation to propagate the gospel. Well, we love you. Stay blessed.